listen to my colleagues and those who are on in difficult Let debate. me make it very clear. I'm, my main concern is the health and well-being of the president, okay? And I think he'll make the right decision. And that's the only decision, the right decision is what's right for him. He's going to make that decision. If it's right for the country, then we'll make a decision from there. I think by Sunday, uh, by this Sunday, this is my estimation, I thought two weeks, I said we have NATO in, NATO leaves today. There's a, this conference here is going on, this the, you know, dialogue back and forth. And then I think everyone will be talking over Friday, Saturday, and by Sunday you should have some idea of what's going on. How important is the press conference tonight for the President? Well, they're all important. The more, the more he does, the better it is, as long as they go well. Senator, what do you want to hear from the president's advisor today? Do you think there's anything they can say to quell concerns right now? What are you hoping to hear today from the president's team? I want to hear hard data, analytics about the path to victory and how he can succeed in making his case to the American people and winning in November, which is absolutely essential. So what happens if so he doesn't make his case today, though? Um, reserving judgment about what happens after today. And I really think that he has to convince not only members of the Senate, but the people of America that there is such a clear contrast between him and Donald Trump, as there is. The contrast has to be drawn between Joe Biden fighting for the people of America and Donald Trump working only for himself. Um, I'm hoping that the president has a solution to the heat out here. Uh, I think Joe Biden will continue to make the case aggressively and persuasively to the American public, showing them that there is a clear contrast between a vigorous and energetic Joe Biden fighting for America and Donald Trump, who's working only for himself. I've expressed my concerns and I've heard questions and concerns of others. And I think this meeting is another step, but more than one meeting, more than one press conference, more than one speech is necessary for Joe Biden to win this election. And we must win this election. It is an existential threat to have Donald Trump in the White House again. And we hope to hear from the president's advisors. I think if things stay as they are, it's likely that Donald Trump will win the election and it will lose the Senate and will lose the House.